Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Huawei Honor 6X also known as the Hawaii 6X Now we got another heavy hidden trap phone alert hashtag another one Now you can buy this phone from Amazon I'll throw the link up in the description the price 250 bucks Alright, so let's go through the specs real quick This is a GSM phone so if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, don't buy this phone. As far as the display, you got a 5.5 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1080 by 1920. Now that's full three for the PPI Patrol. It's running the EMUI 4.1 skin on top of Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Now they say they're gonna upgrade to 7.0 Nugget. Shout out to the Nugget boys, but we'll see. Now for the chipset, you got the high silicone Curran 655, that's the octa-core processor, and the GPU is the Mali T830 MP2. What does that mean? Mid-range specs. Now this phone does feature dual SIM slots. All right. Now if you want, you can put two SIMs in here, have two different numbers, or you could put one SIM and one micro SD card with expandable memory up to 256 gigs. For the camera, you got the dual camera set up on the back. So you got a 12 megapixel camera and a two megapixel camera, phase detection, autofocus, LED flash. No 4K video, All right, 1080p, 30 frames per second. On the front, you got an eight megapixel camera, same thing, 1080p video. You get a fingerprint sensor on this. Now, here's the best part. You got a non-removable 3,340 milliamp battery. Now, Huawei claims you could get up to 650 hours. All right, so they say you could charge this every two days. We'll put it to the test. Now, it comes in three different colors. You got gray, gold, and silver. All right, so all of that for 250 bucks. Let's check this out. Now, on a side note, there is another version of this. I, I haven't seen it out yet, but they got another version that's 64 gigs with 4 gigs of RAM. All right, so this is 32 gigs with 3 gigs of RAM. You might have to spend an extra 50 bucks, push it to 300 bucks, and get the 64 gig version, but I haven't seen that on sale just yet. Shout out to Xerxes. Let's get busy. All right, simple presentation. Looks just like the 5X, the blue packing. Inside, here's your phone. Okay, let's see what else you get. Now you get your usual books and shit. File those to the side. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Are right, you gonna need that for them slots? Here's your power charger. Now, here's another thing, you get your cable, but it's not micro USB type C. I mean, it's not USB type C, it's micro USB. All right, so they went old school on this one. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Let's see anything else. All right, so that's it for inside of the box. You see Xerxes, she peeped the white cables immediately. Let me file those into my pocket. And here's your device. All right, so let's get rid of this plastic. Fresh out of the box, does have a premium build feel to it. Let's see. Now, this is not a unibody design. It's actually metal with plastic on the top, plastic on the bottom, and a little plastic trim. But holding it in the hand, it's gonna feel like a unibody. And you can't really feel this plastic. Let's see. Well, you can kind of feel the difference between the plastic and the metal. The plastic part is extra cold, and this feels like a little bit more plasticky. Now, when I was at CES, a lot of people was complaining about the build quality on this. They said they didn't like it. But for 250 bucks, it is what it is. It doesn't feel cheap at all, but it definitely doesn't feel like a Galaxy S7. I did, it, it feels good, though. Feels like the uh, Hawaii 5X, but a little bit better. So here's your dual camera setup. There's your LED flash, fingerprint sensor. You got your power button, volume up and down. Let's power this on real quick. Let's check the... All right, you got a decent click on the buttons. Not bad. On the bottom... Here's your dual speaker grill, even though you got one speaker and a microphone and micro USB charging. I am not really feeling that too much. On this side, here's your SIM tray, dual SIMs, all one micro SD card, headphone jack on the top, you gotta mention that these days, and another mic. Eight megapixel camera in the front, simple and straightforward. All right, so let me pause the video real quick. I'll put some of my information in and we'll breeze through the OS and we'll check for the features. Talk amongst yourselves. 
All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes, and I got to tell y'all, on a scale of 1 to 10, for 250 bucks, this is a win. All right, this is a solid budget phone. Now, is this going to replace your Galaxy S7 or your LG V20 or your Google Pixel or your iPhone 7? No. Why would you buy this phone? Well, this is the perfect budget phone, the perfect trap phone, the perfect throwaway phone, the perfect gift to your parents kind of phone or the perfect gift to your kids phone. 250 bucks, I would say this is a win. Now, is this the best trap phone out right now? I would say no, because it is missing a couple of things and we'll talk about that in a minute. First, build quality. Definitely not the most premium feel. All right now, I am a fan of the unibody designs. I like the metal casing on the back, but after handling it for a few minutes, you will feel the plastic on the top and the bottom, you will feel the difference. Now it's a lightweight phone, it does feel good in the hands, ladies, holla at me, but it's definitely not the most premium build. But for 250 bucks, we're not gonna cry about that. Fingerprint sensor. Now y'all heard me say this before, in my opinion, Huawei makes the best fingerprint sensors on the market. Now I got a bunch of Huawei phones and all of them work the same, from the budget ones to the flagships, fingerprint sensor, super responsive, almost too fast. Now out of all of the Huawei phones, this is probably the slowest one and it's still right up there with your Galaxy S7 and in my opinion, better than the LG V20. Display, 5.5 inch IPS LCD display. Now y'all know I like the AMOLED panels better, but this one is not bad. Now if you go to the settings real quick, you'll notice I got the brightness pretty much on max and it does look vibrant, it looks colorful, you get some good viewing angles, but the colors look a little bit washed out. All right, definitely not as vivid as the uh, AMOLED panels. Doesn't look as cartoonish. Kind of looks like a V20, but a little bit less. But the display, not bad. And especially for that price, 250 bucks. Y'all know the drinking game. Every time you hear me say 250 bucks, have a drink. For 250 bucks, the display is right on par with all of the other trap phones. Now let's go through the settings real quick. Now you got your notifications. Now you can swipe those away. In your shortcuts menu, standard, but you do got your screenshot button. That's perfect for when you're trolling Instagram in the middle of the night, looking for the new memes. Now you got a screenshot button on deck. You ain't gotta be fumbling around with the power button and the volume down. Speaking of volume down, buttons. Now the buttons on this, they do feel a little bit plasticky, you know, not the hardest, most responsive clicks, but definitely not bad. Not bad, but the buttons do feel a little shaky. But 250 bucks, like I said, it is what it is. Let's go to settings real quick. Now let's go through the settings. All right, now keep in mind, you got your dual SIM management because you got dual SIM slots. <laughs> Oh, shout out. Y'all keep making me say that, man. That's the last time I'm saying that. You got your dual SIMs right there, management. Got your Bluetooth. Now, here's the thing. When you go to more, you can enable 4G. All right, so this is a 4G capable phone, but there's no NFC. Now, is that the biggest deal in the world? No. All right, because if you're buying this as a backup phone, your main phone probably has NFC, but it will hurt you if your main phone is an iPhone and you're looking for a backup phone that's an Android phone. No NFC. So you're not going to be able to tap and pair for the setups and you're not going to be able to use your Android Pay. So not the biggest deal in the world for me because I'm using this as a trap phone. So who cares? Home screen style, simple and standard. Now, simple, if you're going to buy this phone for your parents, put it on simple. If they're not too tech savvy, put it on simple and you're not going to have a problem. I'm going to leave it on standard. Let's go through display, standard display stuff. You got your indicator light, so this does have a notification LED. You got eye comfort. So if you're looking at Instagram in the middle of the night, you know, you just wake up real quick and you want to check your check your timeline. Put on eye comfort. This way it won't strain your eyes out and fully wake you up. But you can check out some buns to help put you back to sleep. You got your brightness, you got your color temperature. All right, so let's matter of fact, you can change the color temperature from uh, warm and cold. I usually don't play with that kind of stuff. And you got your increased readability under sunlight. That's kind of gimmicky. Sounds standard. All right, now, on your notification center, you can choose what notifications you want to have pop up. 
All right, so fellas, if you're doing some dirt, just click on this and go to which apps you don't want the notifications to pop up. Simple as that. You can drag your icons. Now, I don't, I, that's, I'll go over that later. That's, that's kind of gimmicky too. You can show your icon notifications. You could display your battery percentage or you could turn that off. I like to know exactly how much battery I have left. Now you can use that little indicator right there, but that looks like 30 to me. It's actually 42. So I like having an actual number. Let's go to, uh, let's see anything else. We'll go to smart assistants. Now, usually Huawei is pretty good in this department and this one looks the same. You can change your note your uh, navigation bar. So I like the standard way back home and recently used apps. But if you like to switch it around, you can switch that around too. And if you got small hands in this big phone, you can have a drop down, an extra button for drop down for your notification bar. Now you do got floating dock. Now I use this on all of the Huawei phones. All that is is a little floating dock that you can move around. When you open that up, now you got your back button, your home button, your recently used apps button. You can lock the display and you can hit that one button that'll clear all your open apps. All right, so I usually leave the floating dock, especially if you got a big phone, you might want to try that. Now let's go through the motion controls. Only one, all right, you got flip to mute. All right, so that's why I say this is not going to be the best trap phone out because you got other trap phones that are around the same price that do have NFC and do have more motion gestures. Now you got your one hand control. All right, so what that is, if you want to minimize the screen, I'll, I'll, I'll show you all real quick. You just slide over and that minimizes the screen. When you want to bring it back to full size, tap on any part that's black and it'll bring it back. You got your shifting keyboard. Same thing. You can shift your keyboard a little bit smaller. So if you're buying this phone for a little kid, show them how to use that. Or, if, you know, ladies with small hands, fellas with small hands, small feet. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. You can use that too. All right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to discriminate. You got your voice control. Simple and straightforward. You got your smart cover. So this phone does have a smart cover. That's like the LED, uh, not the LED, the uh, S view kind of cases for the galaxies. A lot of other phones make those too, but you do have one on this. And in a big phone like this, you might want to try that. Personally, I would pass on that. Smart headset control. So when you plug your headphones in, you can control the headphones. You can schedule your power on and off and touch the disable mode. So this way, if you got it in your pocket, you don't accidentally press buttons. Now to schedule power on and off, that's perfect if you're using this for a trap phone because one of the main selling points of this phone is the battery life. So if you're using this as a backup phone, and you don't really be, you know, plan on taking calls on this all times of the day and night when you're using your main phone, schedule the power on and off. This way you can have this as the glove compartment phone, fellas, you know what I'm talking about. Schedule this to come on and turn off only when the time is right. Let's see anything else. You got your do not disturb. Let's go to advanced settings. Okay, you got your battery manager. Okay, now according to this, with 42% battery life left, I still got another six hours and 37 minutes. All right, so that's kind of crazy. You could turn on ultra power saving mode or regular power saving mode. Now, look, it, it, and it breaks it down for you. So right now with this 42%, I got six hours and 37 minutes left. If I put on power saving mode, I will have seven hours and nine minutes. And if I put on ultra power saving mode, 10 hours and 42 minutes. So that's kind of dope. So if you plan on spending the night, you know, you go to a club or something, you plan on spending the night out, throw this in your glove compartment. You can either have it power on and off for yourself or put it on ultra power saving mode. And the next day you'll, you'll be guaranteed to have some uh, power in your phone. You got mirror share, standard accessibility. Let's see, high contrast. Your standard accessibility features. And that's pretty much it. Now let's check the uh, speakers on this. Let's go to YouTube. Test song, maximum volume. I'll put it next to the mic. Now, here's the thing. The speakers on this sound a little bit flat. As far as the volume, they do get loud. But the, the, as far as the bass and, you know, hearing the music, you're going to hear it. But it sounds a little bit flat and a little bit hollow. But for 250 bucks, we're not really going to complain. But it sounds a little on the hollow side. All right, that's the, that could be one of the things I don't like about it, the speaker. Let's take a look at the camera real quick. All right, so I, this is my first time seeing this camera. Now, you do got, you do got the uh, dual cameras on the back, which is going to give you that kind of feature.
like the iPhone 7 portrait mode or Instagram filters when you have a picture right here and the background is blurry. Now, if y'all check out my, as a matter of fact, I'll show y'all one real quick. Hold up, let me pull it up. All right, now this is how that double camera effect is supposed to look. Now, this is with the iPhone 7 in portrait mode, which is the dopest camera and the dopest feature out right now. Portrait mode on the iPhone 7 is ridiculous. All right, shout out to Xerxes, but look how crystal clear that picture looks and you notice the background is blurry. Well, you could do the same thing on this phone. Is it gonna look that good? We'll see. All right, so let's, uh, I'll enable location, why not? All right, so let's take a quick photo, see how this looks. Point and shoot. Okay, activates quick. Now, right now, I didn't change any settings. Let's just see how this looks. Took a picture of the uh, Honor 8. Looks pretty good. I'm under optimum lighting right now, so it should look good. But let's go to the settings real quick and see what you got. Now, you can flip, turn to your front-facing camera. There's your Instagram filters. Let's see what else. Okay, now this should be, this is the change of aperture. Now, in order for me to really get a good photo with this, I have to play with this and try to do a dual photo. But you can use that if you want. You got your flash on and off. Toggle uh, between video and standard. You do have a start and stop button. You ever notice on some phones, when you put it in video mode, it automatically starts recording? I hate that. I, I absolutely hate that. Let's see, uh, let's find the settings on this real quick. Okay, now for the settings, just swipe over once. You got photo, you do got pro mode. Oh, that's surprising. Okay, so you got fully functional pro mode. Change the uh, autofocus, change the ISO, all of the goodies. Okay, I'm surprised, that's a nice feature. You got beauty, video, pro mode. Oh, you got pro mode on your video camera too. That's pretty dope, let's see any, uh, yeah, now you can hide that if you want. Now you can hide that little ring right there. But pro mode on video and photo, that's dope. You got HDR, night shot, panorama, good food, light painting, time lapse, slow motion, watermark, audio note, so you could put a little audio note to a photo. That's, that's kind of nice. Let's see, uh, resolution, yeah, only full HD, all right, no 4K. So you got full HD videos. Let's uh, exit out of that. Matter of fact, we'll put it on full HD. Let's go back to uh, camera mode real quick. Okay, let's check the resolution. 12 megapixels. Okay. Select that. You got your assistive grid, audio controls, touch to capture. Now you can use the fingerprint sensor to take photos. You can also use the fingerprint sensor to scroll up and down. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, touch and hold the shutter button. You got burst shot. All right, so that's cool. So one of the best things about Huawei phones is the camera, and this one is no different. All right, fully functional camera. Now I'm pretty surprised you got pro mode on, or on a manual, manual mode on video and on still photography for 250 bucks. That's kind of a win right there. Now I gotta play with the dual camera feature but that ain't bad at all, especially if you're buying this phone for a kid. You know they're going to be using the camera heavy. That's a nice feature. Let me show you something real quick. One more. Let's go to uh, ba -ba -ba, fingerprint ID. Now, you can use your fingerprint sensor to do other stuff also. So you can use your fingerprint sensor to take a photo or video, to answer phone calls, to stop an alarm. All right, you can show your notification panel. Now, you see I just activated that. So I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to scroll down on the fingerprint sensor and bring down my notification bar just like that and bring it back up. So you scroll down, that'll bring it down, scroll back up. That's a cool feature that you gotta play with to get used to, and you can also use that to browse photos. So if you're gonna put a fingerprint sensor in the back, you might as well make it multifunctional, I like that. Overall, like I said, for 250 bucks on a scale of one to 10, this is a win right here. This is a perfect backup phone, a perfect trap phone, and especially if you're buying it for the kids, they want a big phone. They want a phone that feels like, you know, feels like your phone, feels like your premium phone. This one does feel the same. Now the plastic on the top and the bottom, I don't really like too much, but that's supposed to help with the antennas. So it is what it is, but I don't really like that too much. Anyway, that's the Hawaii 6X. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm feeling it though. Oh yeah, before I get out of here, one more thing, because somebody just asked me this question a few minutes ago. Where would I place this phone at 
in the Hawaii lineup. Well, this is the cheapest phone that you're going to get from them. So this is going to be at the bottom. After that, I would go with the Honor 8. All right, now this is still one of my favorite phones. This blue color actually grew on me. I love this phone. All right, so I would go with the Honor 8. After that, now this, like I said, Hawaii, they could be the new Samsung, but they just got to step their game up with wireless charging, with waterproofing the phones, with a few more things. They got to step their game up. But other than that, they right there. Now, this is my favorite phone for in the bed activities. The Huawei Honor, uh, Huawei Note 8. Not the Honor 8, this is the Note 8. Now look at the size of this display. This phone is gigantic. No 4G LTE, but if you're using it on Wi-Fi, then who cares? Look at this. This is the biggest phone that I got, and this phone is beast. All right, I did a full review on this live on the stream one night. This phone is a heavy hitter. I wish this phone had 4G. This would definitely be in my top five. And the best phone right now that you could get from Huawei, in my opinion, is the Mate 9. Now, I'm going to do a full review on this sometime this week. I've just been pretty busy. But this phone is a serious heavy hitter. This is a premium build phone. This is a flagship phone. All right, so don't confuse the 6X with the Mate 9. They may look the same, all right, but <laughs> trust me. Now, if you want to if you want to feel the power of Huawei, then you got to get this phone right here. The Mate 9 is crazy. All three of these right here is dope. But if you're looking for that budget phone, then you might want to get the uh, 6X. Now, I'm going to do a battle of the trap phones next week because I got another heavy hitter I'm about to show you all in a few minutes. So we'll get into that. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see I holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock. Run the beam up. Energize.